to celebrate Saint Jean Baptiste Day, an holiday, a lighting, the French heritage in North America, a patriotic song was needed. A comedy was then organized to create an anthem. It included 23 members, the most notorious ones were the judge, Sir Adolphe Basile Routier, and Calix Salavalli, a French-Canadian-American musician who served the U.S. during the American Civil War. It is important to point out that there are several stories on how the national anthem was created. However, the official version of the story is that Théodore Robitaille, the lieutenant governor of Quebec at the time, asked Adolphe Basile Routier to write the lyrics and Calix Salavalli, the music. The anthem was first performed during the Saint Jean Baptiste Day on June 24, 1880, in Quebec City. The first musical notes sounded like Mother's March of Prests from the Magic Flute, while the lyrics were filled with religious words. In English Canada, God Save the Queen and the Maple Leaf Forever were, since 1867, the unofficial national anthems known back then as Le Chant National. It was a beloved and popular national anthem for the French Canadians. It will take 21 years to hear Le Chant National in English Canada. A group of students sang the song in 1901 when the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall, later known as King George V and Queen Mary, were on tour in Canada. It was the first time the song was performed outside of Quebec. The first translated version of the anthem was by Thomas B. Richardson, but it was not well received. In 1908, a competition was then held by Collier's Weekly Magazine to anyone who was able to give their best translated version of the anthem. It was won by Mercy E. Powell, McCuddock, but her version was not widely accepted. In fact, another version of the translated anthem was popular in Western Canada, written by Ewing Buchan, a Vancouver bank manager. To celebrate the 300 years of the foundation of Quebec City, Robert Stanley Weir, a lawyer and recorder of the city of Montreal, wrote an English version of the anthem, and it will be largely accepted by the population. There will be several versions of these lyrics. One noticeable change was from the 1908 version, where the phrase Thou dost in us command will be replaced by In all the sons command in 1913. The reasons behind this change isn't clear, but some speculate that the controversies involving women around the time where their vote rights and places in the war were disputed caused the change from us to sons. The tune gained so much popularity that it was played when a commemoration to honor the Canadian effort in the World War I was held in Ottawa on May 21, 1939. At the end of the 1930s, O Canada was the national anthem of the French Canadians, while in the rest of the country, the Maple Leaf Forever and O Canada were equally popular. During the 1960s, the Quiet Revolution gave birth to a modern Quebec. Indeed, the conservative ideology held by the Catholic religion was no longer controlling the province. Quebecers became more secularists. Therefore, the national anthem of 1880 was no longer representing the values of the province. Also, Quebec's culture was highly promoted and a lot of songs explaining the reality of being a Quebecer recomposed. Quebec's nationalism was at its highest, to the point where becoming a country was an important option. René Lévesque, then leader of the PQ, a separatist party and prime minister of Quebec, even requested that Jean du Pays, a song made by a famous Quebec singer, songwriter and poet Gilles Vigneault, become the national anthem of Quebec. A request made at the time where the federal government wanted to adopt O Canada as the national anthem of Canada. In 1965, Lesser B. Pearson put to the House of Commons a motion allowing Canada to have O Canada as the national anthem of Canada, while God Save the Queen as the rural anthem of Canada, of which the Parliament approved. The anthem written by Robert Stanley Weir in 1908 was used. For the English version. However, there will be few changes. 
The phrase and stand on guard was replaced with from far and wide the verse O Canada, O Canada to God keep your land glorious and free. The we see the rising fair, dear land was changed to with glowing hearts, we see the rise. Finally, the in all the sons command from the 1913 version was kept. For the French version, the original lyrics remained. Even with all those changes, O Canada didn't become the national anthem because God Save the Queen was preferred. To unify the country at the time where Quebec's separatist movement was growing, a national anthem was needed. On May 20, 1980, a referendum was held in the province, which changed the plan on which song should become the national anthem of Canada. In 1980, under the reign of Pierre Elliott Trudeau, O Canada became the official national anthem when the National Anthem Act passed. In order to make the national anthem more inclusive, several changes were asked. In 1990, the Toronto Council voted 12 to 7 in favor to recommend the Canadian government a change to the phrase our own and native land to our own and cherish land. Also, the in all the sons command to in all of us command. Indeed, using native land for the many Canadians who were not native born was judged as an appropriate. Plus, the word sons was applying that women can be patriotic for Canada. In 2002, a bill was introduced by Senator Vivian Poy to replace the phrase in all the sons command to in all of us command. The French lyrics were also criticized for the religious aspect by secularists. In 2010, the Governor General Michael Jean proposed a plan to make the national anthem gender neutral. However, the three quarters of Canadians pulled were against it. Two days later, the government announced that the original lyrics were no longer going to change. In 2014, Mohil Bélanger, a Liberal MP, introduced Bill C-624, an act to amend the National Anthem Act in order to make the English lyrics more gender neutral, but was defeated in 2015. After the 2015 federal election, Bélanger reintroduced the bill in this new parliament as Bill C-210 in January 2016, and in June 2016, the bill was passed with a vote of 225 to 74 in the House of Commons. This bill also passed in the Senate and received oral assent on February 7, 2018. The phrase in all descent's command was changed to in all of us command. Since 2018 to the moment that I'm recording this video, the English lyrics have not changed, while the French lyrics are the same ones written in 1880. There are many varieties of the English versions of the national anthem circulating around since the 1900s. Today, the national anthem is sung. Before a game involving a Canadian team in many sport leagues in North America, aerial visits, regal salutes, or ceremonies with the Governor General in tow, God Save the Queen is played. There are many controversies surrounding this national anthem, but the main one is the use of French and English when it is sung. Which languages should be used? In Quebec, the bilingual version is sung, while in provinces where English is primarily spoken, the only version sung is in English. The truth is that the lyrics in French and in English do not match. In the French lyrics, Canada is personificated as a religious symbol. Canada bears a cross and carries a sword. In the English lyrics, protecting the land of our ancestors with the help of God and the inhabitants are mentioned. It was a way to pander to the two founding nations of Canada, as stated earlier in the video. Canada has four versions of the anthem. French, English, and two bilingual ones. Should the bilingual national anthem be sung in all Canadian provinces or should it be sung according to the official language of the province? I would love to know your thoughts concerning the language controversy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos and bye!